Hey guys, this is uh, MacDulio uh, bringing you another video. Um, this time the subject would be trend lines, what they are, what they aren't, and um, some vocabulary issues uh, are on the list as well. So let's dive into it, and you see the screenshot here. Um, what do you think? What is a trend line here? How many trend lines do you see here? Well, the answer might surprise you that there is only one trend line on this screen. Well, why? Because a trend line is um, the fair price, a trending fair price that the f um, price movement is following. A trend line is not something that cannot be exceeded or violated like for instance right here and of course later down here you can say that the trend line did resist though but it doesn't mean that you can't um, go through it the start of this downtrend represented by the trending uh, price downwards was an RSI to um, reverse reversal divergence to the upside and you could have drawn any number of lines ever since uh, such as like this but this line would not become a trend line because there were no three touches that that would hold so what are what what is this line this is not a trend line this is a line that there is a prospect trend line but you cannot see it it is a trend line until it proves itself so my point is that this is only a line a, a support line that you're expecting to hold but you can never call it a trend line as such so in our case the trend line that was drawn and it is still in uh, in effect is was connecting this high with the next RSI 2 point RSI 2 peak and these two point points defined the line downwards and uh, basically what made it a trend line because yet again like I said these two just make a line and it became a trend line on the third time around and the market was rejected from it So after this uh, quick lesson about trend lines, I want to mention what my problem is with uh, people using the term price action. Well, my problem with it is that this is the lingo of uh, execution traders who believe that the market is, uh, is basically doing random stuff until uh, a bank steps up and forces it into one or other direction so um, the execution traders would claim that they say uh, trading 90 percent uh, fundamental basis which is code for obtaining uh, information from their present or ex company so they paying up for information and reselling it to you and they basically have no understanding of technical trading the reality is that the market is a purposeful thing and it doesn't do random things the reality is that uh, 
14% of all trading is actual fundamental trading and of course that fundamental trading is based on um, some kind of knowledge uh, or some kind of uh, understanding um, applied uh, for instance if you're mining uh, uh, both palladium and uh, platinum then you know that they're essentially the same thing and you can make a bet that uh, uh, the price of one would catch up with the other you can even uh, play arbitrage between them and uh, these would uh, fall under fundamental trading or if you know that uh, you know the vacancy is gonna be uh, I mean the currency is gonna be weakened then obviously you would be betting on hedge hedging yourself or, or uh, purchasing gold or some something like that and that would be fundamental trading but yet again these execution traders when they talk about 90% fundamental trading that's not what they mean so uh, that's all I wanted to pass on to you today thank you